My name is uh, Frank Bartschweck, and I will give you a short presentation about Wet Studio, which is a graphical user interface for water related models. This title of this presentation is missing the word sharp map anyhow, because what I will show you is how we use sharp map in order to visualize results and treat this data from numerical models related to the world. I work in a very small company in a very small country, so I work at this company it's called Action Models, and we are from Portugal. Even so, as you can see by my name, I'm in German. So this presentation is divided into four big blocks, or big blocks. The first part I will show you some type of data which we usually use to visualize we have to, to deal when we speak about models. Then I will show you how we did this with this tool called Moid Studio. And then I will show some sample usages of this tool. So, what type of models we are talking about? Before I worked in this company, I worked for many years in the Technical University of Lisbon, where we developed uh, a set of numerical models all related to water. The main, one of the most well known models is this uh, Moid water model. It's a 3D model for coastal, coastal areas or more general for surface water bodies. And it also includes a set of other processes which you can simulate with this model, including Lagrangian transport, Euler transport, water quality, sediment transport, many, many things. This is model has started to be developed uh, some 25 years ago and it's still being developed and it's an open source model and it's hosted at Codeplex. More recently, since we had already these surface water body models, we started to build also a model for watersheds, which we call more land, not the two more water. And it has the same, follows the same design better as oil land. It's also completely 3D, it's fully coupled, it has uh, modules for 2D runoff, surface runoff, channel flow, 1D, and 3D uh, saturated and unsaturated soil model. Linked to this, you can connect water quality models or um, plant probes. Both of these types of models usually need boundary conditions in order to run them, and there we can import these type of boundary conditions from different type of numerical predictions like MM5, GFS, Cardinal F, these are all uh, meteorological models. More recently, because we had some projects where we wanted to suck urban floods, they also linked these um, oil land models to the swim model, which have been already shown. So first time examples what you can do with the model, they usually do. This is well, something we spoke already or somebody we spoke already about this morning. This is a type of animation which shows the propagation of a tsunami in Japan, which occurred last year. This, these results are not very good because I make the setup of this model in one work day because it was an intense project about this. So the only goal I had, I took a free day off to make the simulation. So to get all the data, put it into the model, run the model, and produce the results. And what you see here, so you see here the crest I am coming in. First of all, what's important here for this conference. This map that you see here has been processed with sharp map. Okay, so I will show you afterwards how. But we did some new type of layers which incorporate into sharp map in order to, to show this type of animations. So other type of, of things we would have to do if you have more uh, thousand projects. You have to process a lot of data and feed the models with it. For instance, the design here of some two slides which show um, data which have been used to 
have estimates what will happen to, during construction works in the Puffer Bridge in, in the Duala Tapestry. So we needed to edit, edit the pillars, set up elementary data and so on and so on. And all this has been done with this tool. Here's another example where well, this model can be used. This is uh, the results from the this tanker accident which occurred in 2002 on the Malaysian coast. And as you see here by this animation, we have to represent wind, wind velocity, we have bathymetric data, and we have also the proper oil spill in forms of Lagrangian like tracer model, which are a lot of uh, small particles. Another type we do, which this is already the more land model, not the more water model, is to use this model for to simulate floods. And this is once again just to show you what type of data we have to process. So in this case, it's output from the 2D overland model. I just exported all the data to KPML and then overlaid it into Google Earth. This, of course, is something which I would like to do in the future inside these full code modes. I don't have to switch between different applications. Here's, once again, this is already processed everything with sharp map. So this is showing results from a global forecast, forecasting system which predicts every day the so temperature and wind velocity. So meteorologic this for the entire world. We have a tool to download this data and then to visualize it with our sharp map engine. And here's the last example, which is already for urban floods, which is a little difficult to understand this animation because you need an eye of a model. But I try to explain. So this is a very small catchment near Lisbon, where we have a sewer system, represented by these lines, and the color of the of these lines is painted in function of the occupation of the sewer system. So the sewer system is completely full, it's red, if it's empty, it's blue. Okay. So in a given instant, when this gets all red, you don't have any more capacity to infiltrate the water into the sewer system, and then of course overland flow or flooding. So that is represented by these yellow rays which yellow rows which appear here. Okay, so we use this model to, to study floods for different return periods. So this was just for you to get an idea what type of information. So Moit Studio itself is a desktop application. It can be used to pre-process model data, execute the models and analyze model results. It is designed by a set of different modules. Each model has different functionalities. I will explain them in the next slide. And then you can plug in more or less a different type of numerical models. So we have these models from the Moid family, which is Moid Water, Moid Land and Moid River. And just as a proof of concept, I tried to plug in the screen some time ago, it works more or less. And now, currently we are developing a new model which is called OS, which is for a client for us, for irrigation systems. So, the functional models of Moid Studio I work more or less like plugins. You have one for project management to create your scenarios which you want to study. I don't want to go too into detail to this. Then you have a GIS model which is more interesting for this conference, which I will explain more details afterwards. But as you can see here already, each model is associated to a different menu. And in the case of the GIS model, you have a specific window where you have the list of players that you are looking for, which you want to, to which you have to want to display it, to modify to edit. And then you have a display area, which is a sharp map window, where you can see the data. One thing which is interesting, or which we need to, to implement, is a small timer. So you can have layers which are variant during time, like you've seen in this animation. Every time this engine loads a layer which varies with time, this little window gets enabled and you can step forward and backwards in time to 
choose the moment which you want to see. Then there are also a set of tools which works directly over the map, which you need to normally to pre-process data for the models. For instance, this, this image shows pre-processing of impermeability of soils in the Urim area. So if you want to run a flat model, I need to know if you have a lot of soil sealing or if the soil is permeable. So you have to provide this type 